What's up guys, in today's episode, I do an unboxing of my new anthology guitar strap. Stay tuned. What is up, you guys? It's your boy, Luis Torres, and you guys know that, you know, aside from playing guitar and practicing, which I never do, and some of you guys don't either, which is totally okay because, eh, we're kind of old. Look at the grays. We don't care. Anyway, for the most part, what literally makes our lives significantly easier are the accessories that we need when we're playing, when we're in bands or just at home just hanging out chilling and just playing you know just playing playing uh so i made one video which featured at the time my all-time favorite strap which was a levy strap that is three and a half inches wide and padded like you have no idea then one of my boys was just like bro you like that strap you need to get this other strap and it was a strap by a company called anthology um, and I ordered one that was gray and r completely raved about it. I'll put a link below if you haven't seen that video yet. Um, and loved it so much that I couldn't wait until they ended up having, uh, their black model in stock. And that's what this guy is right here. So, uh, it actually came in today and, uh, it's exactly the same as the, first video that I made where it comes in a bean bag uh, <laughs> which is awesome and here is said guitar strap and the one thing that gets me dude you know just because I think it just reminds me of when I was a little kid is bro this thing is leather 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 like you smell <laughs> Like, bro, I'm from Brooklyn, so when I was a kid, bro, I had a leather belt that just smelled awesome with my nameplate on the front that said Lewis. You know, I was into breakdancing back in the early 80s, uh, won a few contests, which is funny, and here is my new black anthology guitar strap, and the other one is actually right here and on my 1991 ESP Horizon Custom uh, Flame Top. I mean, it's literally on one of my all-time favorite guitars ever. And of course, this guy is just going to be all over the place. Just because, you know, like right now, my favorite guitar is, of course, the ESP uh, Urban Camo that I just got. I ended up just getting this morning... A another LTD EC1000 Deluxe, but this one is going to be the black, the vintage black. So if you ever see the VB on there, uh, so yeah, so this is how this strap comes. Little tag at the end, and super padded strap, absolutely gorgeous. And again, bro, go go out and buy yourself an expensive get or expensive belt dude or expensive shoes this is exactly what that smells like you know that that nike out of the box smell that's exactly what these smell like it's crazy so all right so aside from that guitar strap like yo i don't know what is going on with you guys actually of course not all of you um but i run into guys that are just like bro i don't have a guitar stand i'm just like where do you put your guitars? Like, I don't understand. Um, so for the most part, guys for the, are just like, dude, I have two guitars. I literally, if I'm not playing them, they are in their cases. Uh, and that's great. But if you have a few amps, like I kind of do, like I kind of like them out and about. Uh, so 
interestingly enough, I completely fell in love with this specific guitar stand and it is these the hercules stands so <laughs> so this thing i remember seeing for the first time and i was just like yo that looks stupid um so the guitar shop actually were like yeah we'll hook you up and you know let us know what you think about it so i bought one at a, at a good discounted price fell in love with them and i think I don't know, it had to have been like within two or three days, I went back and bought like three. Then I went back every once in a while, I'd be like, dude, let me just grab one. And, you know, every once in a while, if I ended up having store credit, I'm just like, just get me two of those. Uh, so, <laughs> so here are five that I have in my hand. There are three right there. And upstairs, I think I have another three, at least three upstairs. Uh, there's one right there in my office that I'm looking at that has one of my LTD uh, just leaning up on it. But these things are great. First of all, aside from them being extremely light, they're hugely padded. And to me, that's everything. You know what I mean? Like, if you buy a $100 guitar, you know, whatever price point you are, you always want to protect your investments. So you always want something that's super padded. And this is just ridiculously heavy foam that it has. Uh, and when you have a few guitars that are, you know, in the thousands and you have a bunch of them <laughs> that are in the thousands, you know, you like I said, you want to protect your investment, regardless if it's a thousand dollar guitar or a five thousand dollar guitar. Either way, you worked hard for your money and you want to make sure that your guitar lasts and it's not leaning up against the wall and falling over because your cat was like, meow, uh, and knocked it over. Uh, so, yeah, but these things are amazing. They clearly uh, are compact. They're, you know, maybe overall they're an inch and a half wide. Uh, and then maybe it's like three inches here just because that's where the three legs are in the back. Uh, but literally, they go from one... I have them all over my house, which is awesome. Because sometimes I'm just like, hey, let me just get this guitar. You know, I want to play like this guitar right here. You know, I don't always play it. This is my 1999 Ibanez uh, S. What? Mm, I forgot what it was, but it's a seven string uh, S model. And uh, the thing is an absolute incredible guitar so you know every once in a while like if i want to play something that's an e this is uh tuned to be uh standard you know i'll just bring this thing upstairs literally grab one of these guys plop it down there you go and now i have my ibanez and i want to go play the misfits i want to play anything that's an e i'll pull that guy out i have another seven string also um and you know, that's just how you have to roll sometimes, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? So, again, anthology straps, they're a hundred bucks and literally, like, like, can't even stress that it is so worth it. And again, you know, I have that little nostalgia going on with it. The thing just reeks of leather and I absolutely have always loved it. You know, as a little kid, I would just buy a leather jacket. I'm like, ah, I just reek of leather. <laughs> I am leather man. Um, so that's what that smells. And it's interesting because you never, you know, I have a bunch of different guitar straps and none of them have ever left that kind of, uh, impression on me where I was just like, I need to get another one of those. Like I really, really liked it. Um, so definitely I'll put a link below to anthology so you guys can get yourself your own strap. Again, they have them right now in stock in black. And of course, like I said, these guitar stands by hercules i'll put a link below that way you guys can grab these if you have an acoustic they actually this is for an electric but the acoustic version is just much wider or longer here it'll come out to here so that way your thicker body can just sit right on there and it'll tilt back at about a 30 degree angle um but guys hey it's friday hopefully you went out and had 
a few drinks or a bunch of drinks because Lord only knows it was definitely one of those weeks. Uh, but it's starting to get warmer out, which is great. And we're going to be jumping in pools and heading out to beaches soon. So guys, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, do so now, you jerk, so I don't have to put you in a headlock and then swing you back and put you in a double arm bar and break your arms just because sometimes you got to do that. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And as usual, I will talk to you guys soon. I'm so stupid. Uh, uh, uh.